Remember those side levels in Super Mario 3D World where you played as Captain Toad and walk through a mini world collecting things? Well, Nintendo sure does. So much so that they decided to expand that concept into Toad getting his own Wii U game. Here is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for the Wii U. The game opens with Captain Toadette being kidnapped by a giant bird after some treasure hunting, and so Captain Toad embarks on a quest to save her. I guess along the way he figures if Mario can make some serious bank while journeying to rescue Princess Peach, why can't Captain Toad? Hilariously enough, when he does find Toadette, he himself gets kidnapped, resulting in Toadette having to search for him. I guess that's one way to play as both characters. But no matter who is on the quest at any given time, they're both looking to rack up as much treasure as possible in the process. Accompanying the simple, kid-friendly story is cheerful presentation. Polished and colorful graphics, lighthearted music, and the voice blurbs from Toad and Toadette are just as amusing as anyone would expect them to be. Despite the kid-friendly presentation, this puzzle game does well at exercising your brain no matter how old you are. Each of the many levels in this game is one big puzzle, as you're trying to move Toad or Toadette through the level collecting all the treasures while obstacles and enemies challenge you, so you have to move the camera around a lot to figure out what you should do next or discover something hidden. And since the Toads can't jump, it presents a different feel to this adventure puzzle game. You need to search for ladders and switches and other means of getting from one part of a level to another. As for the enemies, you either have to work your way around them or find something to pick up and throw at them. You could almost think of this as a brain-teasing 3D platforming game without the platforming. But with the level of brain challenge, that's fun to play. Luckily, since there's no timer, you can take your time figuring out how to solve each puzzle. The only thing that does rush you, though, is the enemies. If an enemy sees you, it'll chase you relentlessly. Oh hey, Goombas, relaxing at a resort. How nice to see them on a vacation. Oh god! Well, sorry Goombas, I didn't realize the presence of Toadette was bad enough to disrupt your whole vacation. You gotta enjoy the simple things in life, Goombas. No? Well, I gave you a chance to have a vacation, but if you want to chase me that bad... EAT PICKAXE, PUNKS! <laughs> Usually you can get away from the baddies and figure out a new strategy, but sometimes an enemy is always after you, which makes you feel pressured to solve the level faster. And this leads to a problem with the camera. For a game like this, the camera is very crucial to the gameplay, since like I said, you move it all over to find hidden paths and collectibles. You can either control the camera with the right analog stick, or with the gamepad's motion controls. The stick works great, but the motion controls? Not so much. They make controlling the camera clunky and sacrifice playing the game comfortably, and since you can't turn the motion controls off entirely, the movement of the controller will move the camera, thus likely messing you up. But if you can keep your gamepad still and just use the right stick, the camera movement is good. And you can zoom in on your character with the press of a button to get more detail on where you are, but I think this would have worked better if you could progressively zoom in and out with two buttons. Issues with the camera aside, each level is a good challenge that makes effective use of the gamepad. Sometimes you'll be rotating parts of the stage, sometimes you'll be touching platforms to move them, and some levels you'll even be throwing turnips at enemies from a cannon or minecart using the gamepad. So this is one game that shows how well the gamepad can work with a TV for adventuring and puzzle solving. The levels present different themes too, and what's great is how some of these themes are worked into the challenges. The further in the game you progress, the more each level will get you to carefully think about what to do leading up to your eventual AHA moment. Oh, really Toad? You've got a quest to finish. Gee, Mario characters sure love their naps. In addition to the main levels, you can unlock bonus levels by collecting enough diamonds. You've got some levels straight out of Mario 3D World, and more original levels with special challenges, such as keeping away from a mummy and leading a group of Toads to the star safely. You also get surprise coin rush challenges appearing after you've conquered a level very effectively. These could be anything from using a speed pickaxe to using double cherries to whatever else the bonus game wants to throw at you. And since they're so short and fast paced, they serve as nice rushes to break up the slower paced main levels. With all the main levels and bonus levels together, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is a light-hearted puzzle game unlike other puzzle games. It may be lighter on action, but its brain-teasing levels will keep your attention for a while and with the added bonus of its lower price, this Wii U puzzle game is a nice addition to your game library.